Developing news, a mass shooting, more than a dozen hurt. People screaming and running. Tonight, an arrest, but there are still many questions. Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. 13 people were shot. Some are in critical condition. We have team coverage, starting with the first person charged. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross joins us from outside the University of Chicago Medical Center with the latest on the victims and the investigation. Jeremy, good evening. Jim, more than a dozen needing medical attention. At this time, we know of at least two of those victims in critical condition. Many of them tended to in the hospital building behind me. And the circumstances, as well as the people involved, starting to become more clear this evening. 767 Charlie, the whole house is going to be a crime scene. The whole house, there's blood everywhere. People screaming and running. <laughs> it seemed like there was about 100 police officers running to the scene. So it seemed like it was close. Terrence Daniele was woken by the gunfire early Sunday morning near 57th and May when the gun violence inside and outside a home here stopped. The ambulance run started. In total, 13 victims were shot. Police announcing charges were filed against 37 year old Marciano White. White has a history of drug and battery charges. Investigators say he was at Sunday's scene with a gun and they're in the process of determining his role in the case. People in that, in that house know what happened. And we would urge them to overcome their fears um, and come forward with information. Mayor Lori Lightfoot suggesting some who saw the crime haven't fully cooperated with investigators. Family members say they were gathered in the Inglewood home to remember the life of 22-year-old Linnell Irvin. He was shot and killed back on April 26th. Police said Irvin tried to carjack a 41-year-old man at gunpoint. The driver, a concealed carry license holder, shot and killed the 22-year-old. Nearly eight months after his death, gunfire is again linked with his name, though it is unclear what triggered the recent shooting, injuring more than a dozen, their ages ranging from 16 to 48 years old. They're devastated, and many of them are still in tremendous amount of, of pain, recovering from their injuries, um, but they're also in psychological pain. The mayor describing this as a cowardly act. The Chicago Police Department describing this as an open and ongoing investigation. We could see additional charges in the hours as well as days ahead. Live outside the University of Chicago Medical Center, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim. Jeremy, thank you.